Hi everyone, my name is Tanisha Das and today we are going to build an AngularJS e-commerce application. First, let's talk about AngularJS. AngularJS is a structural framework for dynamic web pages. It lets you use HTML as your template language and lets you extend HTML syntax to express your application's components clearly and succinctly. AngularJS data binding and dependency injection eliminate much of the code you would otherwise have to write. AngularJS is basically a front-end developing framework which allows you to use many of the features like data binding. It separates your code into controller logic, view and your model. What are we building here is a basic e-commerce application in which we will be able to view different products and their details. We can organize the products in the store. We can add products to the cart. We can control the visibility of the products and their addition to the cart based on parameters like whether the product is sold out or whether it is available or not. How will we do it? We will make a list of products to be displayed and add their parameters like in a JSON file with keys and we will display on the products in the browser along with their details in the form of a list and then the user will be able to select a product and add it to the cart and view the various details like descriptions, specifications and reviews added for that product. What we will be using to build this product is AngularJS framework, Bootstrap for the CSS, Bootstrap Glyphicon icons library, the editor that we are going to use is Sublime Text 2 and we will be using some images. The basic application layout will be in this manner where we will have a container in which we will have a cart on the right hand side and the list of products in the center of the page. Let me just show you, let me just show you the output of the application. So this is how our uh, Stones Gallery or our Stones e-commerce website would look like. We have our products listed in the form of a list over here. You can see a cart icon to the top right corner here and add to the cart button. Price of the cart displayed in currency. Description, specification and review. When the user clicks on any of these tabs, the respective description will be visible. Like description, where we can have more description of the product, about the product, like what are the qualities of the uh, stone, what is the weight, what are the other parameters that the user would want to know about the whole product. Reviews is what, when you click on the tab review, uh, the other users can add reviews to the product, which will be visible in this section. Now, when the user clicks on the add button, as you can see, the item quantity in the cart increases. The price of the cart is displayed over here and this is the image. In similar manner, we have other products as well. Now you would also notice that these products are arranged in the order of the price with the costliest one in the beginning and going on decreasing with the price. Let me show you the code of how we have developed this application. To start with, for developing any AngularJS application, we will first need to add in the libraries. We have used a, I have used a script tag to add the libraries. This script tag here will basically inject my library required for AngularJS, angular.min.js. You can download these libraries free, free on, uh, online because it's an open source framework. We do not have any license for this framework. Okay. So uh, this is how we have inserted our bootstrap as well as jQuery libraries. This is my main HTML page. Now basically AngularJS works with HTML. It enhances the features and adds much more easeability to write code, reusable code, and it develops a cleaner 
web application. My CSS files will be added in the head section. As you can see, I have my bootstrap added here. This is my body. Now for my HTML page to sync with my AngularJS, it has to have the ng app directory. Now, um, let's first go through the basic components of AngularJS. AngularJS has basic components like directives, modules, controllers, expressions, and filters. Now, in my code, as you can see, I mentioned about ng app directive. This directive will tell my JS, which will it will connect my HTML to my JS. So we add the ng app to the HTML tag. This ng app has to be modeled like this. Angular dot module is the syntax by which we create our module. This is the header module. This module will include all my other components like my controllers, my filters, my directives and all of the other stuff. This is basically called dependent. This is basically called dependency injection. If you have other JS uh, files which depend on your uh, main file, then you can add dependencies like this. We will talk about dependency injection in the later videos. Now to describe or to show my products on the, on the browser, we have an object here which has all the parameters like name, description, sold out, specification, reviews, etc. So this is an object which is going to describe my, fear, describe my product on the browser. It has also got my image links, image paths, etc. This is basically my controller. Now my controller will basically do perform the logic that I want to perform and my HTML will bind that uh, controller objects in my controller to the browser. I have connected my controller to my HTML using the ng controller directive. ng app, ng controller and many other various are built in directors of AngularJS which we use to develop the application. This syntax basically gives me an alias name for my controller, which is store. All the objects defined inside my controller can be accessed using this variable. It's basically the scope of my controller, which we are going to use to display products on the browser. I have my headers and my body section over here. The next directive that we have, this is basically expressions. This is the way we display our objects in the controller onto the browser. Expressions are of various kinds. You can have simple expressions which are concatenating strings. We can have expressions which are showing objects here. For example, total items is my object which I am referencing in my HTML page over here. So there are various kinds of expressions that we can use. The next directive that we are going to talk about is the ng class directive. The ng class directive will decide based on a condition whether my class has to be applied or not. What exactly I have done here is I am switching tabs between description, specification and uh, reviews. I am setting the tab number using this method is selected using the method select tab on ng click the select tab method will be called this method will basically set your tab to the current tab based on that the is the tab will be switched the is selected method will find out which tab is selected over here so my controller methods are called using the ng click directive that is another built-in directive that we have in angular.js it's just like functions being called in javascript 
angular js is basically built on javascript so we talked about ng class ng click ng show is yet another built in directive ng show basically decides whether to hide or show your product over here based on the selected tab my panel is either hidden or shown this value should be computed to true or false we have another set of expressions that displays the other parameters in my object and i have my button here uh, which has again which is again bound to a method in my controller which is add item and that is going to when i click on the item that is going to add the item into my cart there is yet another directive that we have used here which is ng repeat this is the directive which we have used to basically show all the products on the screen we do not we don't have to write this whole html structure repetitively for all the objects that we have ng repeat does that for us so this was what we spoke about directives and controllers and expressions the next thing that we are going to talk about are filters filters basically allow as the name suggests to filter out the data that you want to show on the screen there can be various kinds of filters it could be by ordering or by grouping or currencies or all the different kinds of filters that are used here we are doing an order by so that is how we organize our price in the descending order this is another filter that we are going to use which is currency now my product is a price we come to know this by adding the filter currency there are various other filters like this like date locales etc this is the glyphicon library icons that we have used using bootstrap these are this is how we basically describe our controllers this is the syntax used to describe now we are again we are going to talk about dependency injections later but just to give you a small information this object over here can be also retrieved from a json file and the json file can be called using services services are another uh, component in angular js which gives us a load of features that we can use http is an, a kind of service which we can use to retrieve json files so this is our application ng repeat basically lets us describe all these show all these products on the screen ng click directives lets us allows us to add products and so on we have different kinds of directives which are custom directives which again you can write your own directives you can write your own filters as well you can write your own logic which will work as filters on your components there are various other features like i mentioned along with that we also have scoping of variables uh, different kinds of scopes apply within controllers within your app and you know you can uh, share scopes from one directive to another from a controller to a directive many other things many other features that angular js has you can create your own factory methods uh, you can have state uh, states maintain state maintenance url redirection using angular routing many such stuff so that's the end of our uh, video here and uh, thanks for watching